two years ago when the new management came in and we took over Celsi, you know, back in 2012, um, our vision was always to bring cost of communications down to the masses, to all South Africans. And I think we've achieved that. You know, looking back, we went, you know, we had all our earrings, we went to court uh, in terms of the MTR and the symmetry. The court made a ruling. And what have you seen after two years? You know, you've seen prices become really, really competitive. The incumbents are dropping pricing. Today, we announced even more attractive pricing down to 66 cents. And we really cemented our position on the prepaid segment of the market. Uh, yeah. we, we're doing a phenomenal job that you've seen our growth. Uh, we, you know, in the last four months, we've connected almost as many subscribers that we did the whole of last year. Um, so we've, we cemented that position. And we brought this price competitiveness to the contract market and postpaid market today by bringing in a flat rate of 79 cents to postpaid. So we spent the last six, seven months really building a back office to cater for these high net worth individuals on contracts and small medium enterprise businesses and families just at large. And we're ready to, to you know, take the, the so-called price wall into the postpaid market. So exciting times for us. This year alone, we got you know, just a forecast of about 2.3 billion rand of capital investment. Um, we're very focused in the Gauteng project, so we've taken all the old technology and legacy technology from, you know, of the previous vendor that we had. We've signed up a really good accords with Huawei. Uh, that project is 100% on track. Um, you know, we've got over 400 sites swapped out. We've got aggressive new coverage in the Gauteng area, and we anticipate this project to be sort of in completion around sort of October, November. And what that brings is a new technology, new dimension, more capacity, better quality, you know, for our end user and more efficiency so we can translate better pricing. For two years, the large incumbents, the large operators have been stating that if you bring in, if you lower MTRs, you bring in a symmetry, you know, it has no bearing on price, on price, on retail pricing. And so they took us to court and they, well, they took Ikaza to court, so to speak, right, the regulator, we were the defendant. And not long after, you know, the judgment was passed, pricing changed. So, I mean, on one hand you're saying you can't do it, on the other hand you say you can do it. Pretty confusing. And I think, uh, you know, the lodge operators have actually played their card and they've sent the message to the regulator, look, you know, we can bring pricing down and I think the regulator will use common sense and do the cost study and will ensure that, you know, the, the original regulations that were set at the beginning of the year will stay in play for five years. So we're pretty confident, clearly it's up to them, they're doing their homework. But let's see what happens in September.